<sighs> Today is a really sad day, everybody. As you can see, I'm nice and hot pink with my awesome mask. I look nothing like I did at the end of the last episode, and that's because I just recorded for about two hours with no video. I had only audio, so about two hours of progress went by, and I didn't get any of it recorded. It's 100% my fault. I claim full responsibility. I was capturing the wrong window in OBS, so please feel free to leave mean comments about me. I can take it. I'll show what I did get done just to catch everyone up to speed. I got the Emperor from one of the assassins. I forget which one. I think it was the one with the C. Cory, Con, Cor. So I don't know. They don't have real names, whatever. It doesn't matter. I farmed a Herald, got a Lesko, got the dog and a judge from the assassins. Also got a flame of the Firehawk from that quest line. I did 16 more missions. We're at 36 out of 861 now. I got a few more level ups. I put them all on the fearless right there. And that's just about, oh wait, Gwen said, Another unique weapon right there. I'll mark that one off. Also, I'm going to use it because the Gwen set is quite the good weapon. Once again, really sorry I fucked up that recording, but nothing else to do now but move on. We have to go into the Bloodshot Stronghold and rescue Roland now. I believe I've got every side mission done in the game up till now, so we should be clear just to do some main story for a little bit. Ooh, it's time for Bad Maw. What a mean motherfucker. Alright, I got down, but that's okay, it's no big deal, don't worry about it. It just occurred to me I haven't done an intro for this video yet because I was too busy explaining my failure. Hi, welcome to episode 2 of my 100% Borderlands 2 playthrough. Uh, thank you very much for being here. It's a damn shame I fucked up that early. We did it on the Borderlands 1 playthrough as well, but it wasn't on episode 2. You know, I thought I'd be able to make it through at least a couple episodes before I pulled something like this. Normally I'd farm Bad Maw for some XP, but since we've been doing all of our side missions, I'm already pretty over leveled. Everything here seems to be between level 11 and 13. And I'll level 14, I'll be level 15 by the end of it. You'll notice I didn't farm a fastball, that's partly because I forgot and partly because I just decided that the Skyrocket's probably a good enough option for normal mode. Oh, I gave the Skyrocket a compliment and it instantly attacked me. Maybe I was wrong, maybe I should've farmed a fastball. Come on, Porto shitter, give me something. Wow. The Sawtooth Cauldron Toilet Bowl is some of the most intense mobbing in all of Borderlands. Thankfully I'm over leveled right now so it's not too bad. When you have this many enemies with shields, things tend to get a bit hectic. And I forget this guy's name. Mad Mike, of course. I'm so sorry, Mad Mike. You're just so forgettable, you know? Oh, Porto Shitter, please. You know? Not too bad. Slight upgrade. Zook Sniper. Who the hell is Zook? Destroy that fuse box right there so we can get to the weapon stash. Iridium? Oh yeah, Iridium. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? Give me something good. Oh, it's not looking good. Yep, Skyrock will come in real handy in this room, that's for sure. Ooh, I need that weapon box right there. Uh, I need it. Hey, hey, four chunk, man. I'm getting lucky with the Iridium today. But, uh, there we go, okay. I feel it. I can feel it. This is the one. Not too into that .8 fire rate sniper, nor that 1.2 fire rate sniper. Well, maybe I was wrong about that weapon stash. Anyways, how you doing, Roland? Vault Hunter. So badass. You gotta stop this thing! Yeah, sure thing, Roland. Now we have our very first loaders of the playthrough. This is where the game's at right here, baby. The lifeblood of Borderlands 2. Oh, prime skyrocket territory right here. Absolutely perfect skyrocket turf. Level up, baby. Last one into Fearless, and now we can get the good stuff. Death mark awaits. Well, now that we're level 15, we're pretty much stupid over leveled. All these mobs are about a joke. Hey man, you good? When the nomads start race walking, you know something's wrong. God, what a handsome man. I wish somebody would make a shrine like that of me. Oh fuck, no, shit! Pop on the Gwen's head so I can take out these surveyors a bit better. The Herald's great for damage, but does not have much accuracy. That's three in a row, these Porto shitters have disappointed me. I love all the different skins they use on robots for this map. I don't know why they don't really do that anywhere else. There must be some sort of logical explanation, but I don't know what it is. And now, to speed run Warden here. There we go, shield's almost gone. Once the shield's gone, Warden's also gone. Guess I gotta stop and kill these guys. Oh, wow, never mind, too late for that. I underestimated the power of Warden, I apologize. I apologize, I really do. But goodbye to you. There we go, all the mobs are dead. Turn that into Roland. We'll go back to Sanctuary shortly, but first I want to loot this weapon stash, plus do a little bit of incineration. Pretty decent Vladoff launcher, but I'm not going to swap it out with our bandit one. At times three is hard to beat, even if the rocket speed is absolutely dog shit. And now, oh wait, I forgot, you gotta, you gotta actually get in it first. What's wrong? 
I'm gonna work. Oh, you can only do it once. That's a fucking, uh, it's a tragedy. I fucked it up again. I'm just fucking everything up today, aren't I? Oh, well, back to Sanctuary. Oh, Blood and Bone. When did I get that skin? Wow, okay, well, we got a new skin right there. I guess this is a great time to show off the spreadsheet I made for all the skins. There are some skins that come from places outside of Borderlands, like different games or being a Gearbox employee, other stuff like that, which I'm not gonna be getting those. And there's some that come for different holidays as shift codes. Now, I don't really know if I'll be able to get those. I don't know if they still release the limited time skin codes. If they do, I'll try to get any that come out during the playthrough, but I'm hoping the playthrough won't take us an entire year, so most likely we won't be able to get those holiday skins either. But anyways, enough rambling about skins. Oh, I sold it. Fuck, no, I need that. Wrong one. Wrong one. Learn that one. There we go. Blood and Bones. Iridium. Tannis has a mission for us now. Splinter Group. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotta go back to the Bloodshot Stronghold. Maybe I should have came here and gotten that before we went to do the story mission. Handsome Jack is gonna kill us all unless you can stop him. Roland's been talking for about 10 minutes, and now we've gotta go to the Tundra Express. Man, get the fuck out of the way. There's no way you're doing this right now. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. There we go. God damn it. Picked up that mission from Tannis. Gotta snag that pizza. Can't forget. And another one here from Hammerlock Mighty Morphin. Now, normally I wanna keep this mission so I can do XP farming, but XP farming probably isn't gonna matter to us this playthrough since we'll be doing every side mission in the game, meaning we'll be over leveled until we get to UVHM. Oh my god, I forgot the injector. God damn it. Good thing I got it at least before we went there. That would have been a damn shame. Uh, thank you, Hammerlock. First thing I wanted to do is head back to the Bloodshot Stronghold and knock out Splinter Group. Gotta go kill all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle looking guys. Oh, okay, well, that's new. What is this now? I think I remember this mission. Let me help you out there. Loader number 1340. Zero's too tall, I guess. You gotta really thread the needle there. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it a little firework. What a joke. No, he took my money! Fuck you. Give that back. We're in, baby. The lair. There goes Dan. Ralph. Okay, Lee, it's just you and me. There you go. Well, that was easy enough. I'm pretty sure these guys drop, uh, do they drop the pandemic? They dropped some sort of grenade, but we didn't get it, unfortunately. I almost don't even want to open it. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. There's an Easter egg we can do in here. I don't know the order, but, you know, maybe I can figure it out. Let's try TV, then valve. Switch, then lever. Nope, that didn't work. Well, that, 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 then that. Do all those lights have to turn on, I wonder? Yep, so I screwed up the order by playing with them all. Gonna have to go through each one and try to figure it out myself now. Oh. Oh, looks like I did it. Oh, look at that. Who needs the internet? I am the internet. Hmm. Hmm. As you can see, my IQ 10,000 mental CPU is processing. Sputtering spitter and then a FaceTime. Yeah, not too interested in either of those weapons, but at least Splinter's dead. I guess he counts as a unique enemy. I was trying to make a spreadsheet compiling all the unique enemies in the game, but I was having a hard time defining what a unique enemy actually is. I'm just gonna save because I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, I'll probably end up just uh, taking suggestions or figuring out on my own what those enemies are gonna be. It's not gonna really gonna be a comprehensive list, but I'll just put a bunch of notable ones on there. Oh, I shouldn't have save quitted. What is wrong with me? I had to go do this other mission still. Shame on me. Oh wait, we have to go to the Bloodshot Ramparts? Is that where the mission is? Please tell me I can take a fast travel station there. No. No you can't. Okay, well I guess now I'm gonna run through the entirety of the Sawtooth Cauldron again. Hmm. Seems like the bandits cleared out the robots, okay. Or maybe I did it for them. Put this guy's AI core in the constructor? I mean, what could go wrong? I guess I just gotta kill him for the second wind. I was trying to get one of his robots, but that's not gonna happen. Oh come on, I thought... Thought we weren't doing that. It's possible this one's faulty too. Ooh, level up. Okay, well it seems we beat the shit out of him enough times to make him regret it. So now we're gonna go put him in a radio. This is truly a tragedy. I came out of here and tried to save quit to get back to the start of the map. Uh, it, it can't happen. And there's no fast travel right here. Is there one down here? Am I an idiot? There's no fast travel. So I guess my only option is to run the gauntlet once more, get to the end of the map, and use that fast travel station. What? Why? I guess we have death mark now, so at least that's cool. We're gonna make everything we hit with our melee take a lot more damage. I suppose while I'm here, I can incinerate myself, as we failed to do last time. Come on, I saw it. There it is. Um. Oh, wait, I'm using the flame of the firehawk. I can't die with that on. Here we go. Much better. Let us see what we've gotten. A green commando class mod. Well, can't say I'm thrilled. Oh, I was about to save quit. That would have been the worst thing ever. At long, long last, the fast travel station. Now we can go to Sanctuary and plug this jackass into a radio. Put him into here. This this looks like a bit more than a radio. Oh no. He's trying to drive us to suicide with terrible music. 
Yeah. Okay, well, you say take him to Zed for a shield or Marcus for a gun. I believe we've got a fuck ton of Iridium to spend, so I'm stopped by crazy early. Yeah, we do. We got 36. I'll get another grenade, get a couple pistol upgrades there for sure, and then I'll do backpack. I think I'll just hold on to that eight for more backpack upgrades or maybe sniper. Before I go grab our gun from Marcus, gonna turn Splinter Group into Moxie. Or not Moxie, Tannis. Critical hit rock salt. That's another unique weapon right there. Don't retreat. Instead, reload. I can get down with that one. Once I start filling up everything I have here, I'm gonna move these weapons over to other characters using the stash for storage. That way I can have one of every weapon, at least on different characters. They're not all gonna be on the zero because that would be impossible. And Marcus, can I get a gun? The Inspiring Shotgun 1340. Another unique weapon. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I suppose on our next playthrough, I'm gonna have to switch to a shield and get a shield so we have both the uniques. And I wanna actually try this weapon out because I've never seen it before. It might be good. Who knows? Oh, and he, he yells when I, when I reload. Ain't that gonna be fun? Handsome Jack knows how to make them, let me tell you what. There's no more excuses now, we gotta go to Tundra Express, baby. Here we are, Tundra Express. I love this place, I really do. Flint's Tinder box right here. I won't be picking it up since I don't need it, I'm just gonna use the fire melons down here to light the Varkids, I find that's the easiest way. Maybe three Varkids, can I get one more over here please? Or y'all turn into pods on me. There we go, it's Mordecai everybody. I'm gonna start injecting some of these pods so we can do Hammerlock's mission. There's a mutated badass Varkin in the flesh. Wow, might need to use a skyrocket on these guys. The shotgun's not doing it, but these guys are pretty beefy. I guess I can't write off the shotgun just yet since I'm using it against an ultimate badass. There's a podule, module, godule. Here we have a perfectly sane and reasonable person, Tiny Tina. I would love to live in a place like this. You just have a couple red garages and an ice cave. I mean, it's got to be cold as shit. I suppose if you detonate yourself and your surrounding area consistently, it'll keep it pretty warm. Tina's gonna have quite a few side missions for us a little bit later, but first we gotta grab the badonkadonks. Need a couple more badass mutated Varkid samples as well, so hopefully I can find some Varkid. One pod? Can I get one more? I just need one more. Any one of you. There we go. Thank you so much. Now I can just get back and throw a couple sky rockets. Very easy. Sample, sample, and we are done. Snuck in the back over here to grab these bombs, or missiles, I should say. I know you can get loot midgets from some of the containers over here in this bandit camp, so I'm gonna be trying to open every one I can find. Holy shit, man, I'm down again. Yeah, this shotgun, you know, I just don't think it's very good. I feel bad saying that to the nice, kind robot who attempted to kill me three different times, but it's true. It's just a bad gun. This is quite the impressive missile, Tina, I will admit, but talk to me once you've learned how to strap it to the barrel of a gun. Now that would be truly impressive, and I'm gonna just die here, aren't I? Come on, come on, come on. Uh, Fuck's sake, man, I suck at the game. At least I grabbed both of the missions, but now I'm not gonna be able to look for loot midgets like I wanted to. Well, that's a bummer, now I'm sad. Made it back to Tiny Tina. There's our missiles. Tina's got something else now. Gotta go find Sir Reginald to invite him to the party. Made it to the lair of Sir Reginald's mother. There she is, Madame Von Bottlesby. Madam Bomb Bartles by and a shitty TDR shotgun. Not gonna even pick that up. I really do hate TDR shotguns. Can't forget to leave here without grabbing Sir Reginald. Almost just jumped off the side of the cliff. Good morrow, my patron. The quest is now expanded. We gotta find Princess Fluffy Butt, get crumpets and buzzard parts. Crumpets right here. Got three buzzards swarming me right now. I really don't know what I can use to take care of them quickly. I guess this shotgun. Oh yeah, not too bad. Maybe there's hope for you yet, Loader 1340. There's our last piece of... Oh fuck, I didn't pick it up and I didn't get my action skill in time. Here we have Princess Fluffy Butt. Who are you? You're not the right guy, man. Where's the sky? Where's the stash guy? I forget his name. Are you... There we go. Tundra Patrol. That's what I meant to say. And there's the Echo. Got another mission now. Just go over to his weapon stash and get some gear. No catch. Nothing at all. Just gear. Put our skill point into Rising Shotgun to get more damage for everything that way. Oh, what the hell? That's not even weapons at all. Turn it in, what we got? Wow, only a two shot, but I will take it. That is a nice Hulk right there. I'm sorry, Inspiring Shotgun 1340. You've just been replaced permanently. Oh, wow, and look at that shield. Let me take that too. Adaptive shields are absolutely the best. Well, that's not true. The B is the best, but that adaptive shield is probably the best shield I've gotten for the playthrough at least. 
Ah, uh, yes, I climbed up the ladder over there because I thought we might find something. A vault symbol right there. There's another one in Tundra Express somewhere. Someone in the comments very kindly let me know that there's actually a way to keep track of these. So any zone with vault symbols in them is going to have a little challenge listed there. That'll make it real easy to keep track of. Also, can shoot the fuse box right there and get down to the weapon stash. That will surely have been worth it. There's no way we don't get some amazing weaponry out of the stash. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's pretty bad. At long last, back in Tiny Tina's Workshop of Wonders. Got those guys placed, now she'll have another mission for us. Gotta get the final guest, the most important one, Flesh Stick. There he is. Oh, a loot goon. I'd like to let you two go at it. Oh, I accidentally killed Flesh Stick, didn't I? Oh, my bad, Flesh Stick. That's okay, we'll get a new one. I'll be back for you, loot goon. Oh man, smack me or something. I can't hit you. No, you gotta, you gotta. Oh my god, fuck you. Gonna have to go grab the mission again, but at least we got some iridium out of this. Okay, flesh stick with me this time. Not gonna have you dying. No, no, no. Why are you giving up already? Oh, for God's sake, flesh stick, you fucking idiot. Come here. Come on. Come on, flesh stick. Yep. There you are. Oh, a new bandit rocket launcher. I think that doesn't have shitty rocket speed, too. Let's see. Oh, come on, really? Well, whatever, at least it's a damage upgrade. Oh, I gotta fend off the waves, my bad. I must say, Flesh Dick, you have some pretty bitch-ass friends. Ooh, badass Goliath. Goodbye. That is all. Turn that in. Twin Teapot. Another unique weapon, the Teapot, baby. Twin is a pretty good prefix on it, too. Should come in handy for taking out loaders. Rest in peace, flesh stick. A man as bright as the sun and as fleeting as the wind. Also, this gun matches my skin, so I kind of have to use it. Yeah, that's just, that's a fucking tragedy. You know, Tina, I don't know how I feel about detonating train tracks, but if you say it's okay, I don't know what it is, but sometimes I kind of feel like I'm not on the right side of this. Ah, yes, completely shreds the robots, wonderful. Dare I say, the perfect tool for the job right here. Give me something good before we face Wilhelm. Oh my goodness, well, that's terrible, never mind. I saw blue and I saw the numbers and I got excited, but absolutely no no effects and for skills that I don't have. Yeah, he's pretty weak to corrosive. What about skyrockets? Is he weak to skyrockets? Not very. No, he's pretty resistant to fire, I guess. Makes sense. Goodbye, Wilhelm. I did. He doesn't. Looking around for a Logan's gun, or I think the other one's a Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Not seeing a legendary though. Or is it a Rolling Thunder? Maybe it's the Rolling Thunder actually. Regardless, we didn't get anything from here to Sanctuary. Before I go and plug in the new power core, I've got a little business to attend to in Sanctuary. If I don't do it now, it's going to be a while until I can. First of all, turn that into Hammerlock. Also got a level up from that. Another rising shot. Mine all mine. If you ever wanted to shoot someone who says stuff like Tarnation, this is the mission for you. Don't know if I've ever actually done that mission right Right there come over to lieutenant davis now we'll turn this mission in and we'll pop out the old core before i complete the mission the oh wait did i fuck it up yeah i fucked it up didn't i oh no the mission disappeared i'm an idiot well if you don't touch the power core when you come over here like i did and you just turn the mission and you can go back in and get the good the bad and the mordecai from the bounty board that way you get it a few levels early and it'll let you go over to the dust and farm the liuda and the Varuk. press that button here we are there you go, Lilith, there's your rocks. Don't smoke too much now, that shit's strong. Could be Fenty laced, Lilith, be careful. I fucked up and gave Lilith the Fenty rocks. That doesn't bode well for Sanctuary. Now that Sanctuary's been turned into the Caustic Caverns, I think it's a pretty good time to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing. That would mean a lot to me. I'll go over today's progress. We've now completed 44 out of 861 missions. Got a ton of different uniques and legendaries on this episode. I'll show you guys the spreadsheet. We've also gotten quite a few badass rank challenges completed, but I won't be able to go over these at the end of every episode since it would take too long. Just know that we're always making progress towards that goal. And I can't think of anything else we did of notes so that's going to be everything once again thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you on the next one have a great day also sorry again for losing that footage it won't happen again i promise